What's up boys and girls, Jamil here for Black and Yellow Movies with another independent film review in Ingrid Goes West. The opening scene in Ingrid Goes West sees Aubrey Plaza frantically scrolling through her Instagram feed and liking every picture of a girl who the viewer may think is a very good friend of hers. Congratulations. Shortly after the scene of the wedding, you see Aubrey Plaza's character Ingrid going through multiple phases of mental therapy. Her mom has recently passed and left her $60,000, which she cashes in and heads out west where her new Instagram obsession is living. Hi, I'm Taylor. Ingrid. Have we met before? No. One of the things I loved about this film was the social commentary it held dealing with social media. Now, if a movie like her starring Joaquin Phoenix told the story of where we saw ourselves being in terms of social media, Ingrid Goes West definitely depicts how we're living in the time of social media. It's become an obsession for us and a lot of us often live our lives based on what we see other people doing. That is portrayed beautifully in this film and Aubrey Plaza does such a great job encompassing that aspect of life. And Aubrey Plaza plays her character to perfection. Ingrid, she immerses you into this character. You really dive into the mind of Ingrid. You see the mental instability that she's dealing with and how people can kind of see there's something going on with her, but she hides it so well. She brings a grace to the role. I'm not a psychopath. I just want to be her friend. She makes you feel like any of us can stoop to this level and you might not think anything's wrong with you. We need to be smart. We're not gonna kill this dude, right? No, we're just gonna scare him a little bit. <laughs> Tupac said it'd be days like this. So for her to put that at the forefront of this character and make you realize there's some deeper hidden truths, not just to her, but to kind of everybody who's living their lives surrounded by their phones or their tablets, it's kind of a deeply affecting, almost horrific look at where any of us can be in 10, 15, or 20 years. Elizabeth Olsen is another driving force for this film. She is actually the Instagram fame who Aubrey Plaza is becoming obsessed with throughout the film. Okay, you need to relax, it's, it's just a scratch. You can buff that right out. She plays her role amazingly as well. These are two strong female leads and Elizabeth Olsen does so great on the opposite side of the fence from Aubrey Plaza. She has Instagram fame. She has millions of followers. She has the husband who loves her. And then you get deeper into her character and you start to see that not everything's what it seems. And that alone is just a beautiful portrayal because a lot of the time that's what you get with social media. You're seeing everybody on their best day, but you're not seeing them when they're having the arguments with their loved ones. You're not seeing them when they're not feeling 100% or their best selves. And for them to show that both sides of the fence in this film between two female lead characters, I thought was amazing. And I'm honestly astonished that nobody had done it before 2017, but I'm glad that somebody did it and that they portrayed it in such a way where you can honestly believe it all. My one drawback of the film is I wish that it could have moved along a little quicker. A lot of the times you get Aubrey Plaza's character Ingrid and it's her constantly doing weird things. And I'm totally okay with that, but most of the film is spent doing that. And I wanted to see that at the beginning, a little bit in the middle, but then I wanted to see kind of a different story arc, maybe a character stretch that goes a little further, maybe more demented, maybe something that shows a different dynamic with her obsession, but it all stayed very one note with her obsession. And then later on when, you know, more revealing happens, there's not much to grasp onto. There's not a lot that really goes, oh damn, like I'm glad they did that. You're just kind of like, I saw that coming. And that's the only drawback of the film. A little too much time spent on Aubrey Plaza being crazy and not enough time rounding out a little more like, is she learning anything from this? Um, is she eventually going to come out and say she has a problem? I wanted more of that. And I feel like when they didn't give it to me, I was a little disappointed. My final score for this film is a 7.5. This is an enjoyable indie flick and it kind of begs an important question, you know, who are you? At the end of the day, are you obsessing over social media? How is it controlling your life and you know, 
how do we you know, kind of contain this stronghold it has on society and how do you as a person, as an individual, make it to where your mental you know, capabilities aren't being sacrificed because you're spending all day on your phone. And I thought just in that alone, the movie's kind of, you know, it's pretty important. You know, if the movie Her, like I said, says, where do we see each other? This one is the here and now. This one encapsulates what we're living by, the standard, and it's pretty dark, but it's also funny as well. So to balance those two, I thought it did very well. 7.5, final score, go see the film if something like this intrigues. Well guys, that was my review for the independent film, Ingrid Goes West. Have you seen it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Comment below and don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and we'll be back soon with a lot more independent and informed film reviews. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll give one of you 200 bucks if you punch me in the face. <laughs> no, it's fine. If you pussies can't handle it. Come on. Oh, fuck.